Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you another video. This video is how to make a Minecraft server. Like this, looks exactly like this one. First, what you're going to want to do is first open up Internet Explorer. I'm probably going to use multiple tabs because I'm doing something else on my other internet thing. But anyway, I'm, what you want to what I'm gonna want to do is go to minecraft.net. I'll put the link link in the description of the exact place that you need to go to. Anyway, I'm gonna go to not to the slows because my computer's so freaking slow. Go to downloads. Now, what you're gonna want to do is go to right here where it says multiplayer beta server. Now, for this multiplayer beta server, if you're running on Windows, as it says here. You set up the server easily. Just download this link right here. You can get a wiki article tutorial if you're on a Mac. And you download this file right here, I believe. I'm not sure. I'm running a on Windows, so I'm going to just click. Or no, that's regular Minecraft. I'm going to click here for the server. I already have it downloaded. So, anyway... What you're going to come up with is you're going to come up with a thing that looks exactly like the Minecraft thing, except it says Minecraft underscore server, and it underscores this thing. It'll show up, like, right here. I'm going to drag it out of this folder, so I'll show you what it should look like. It should look like this, something like that. Now, what a good idea to do is to make a new, and then go to folder, and I just call it... Minecraft Oops Server But I'm not gonna need one but no I'm gonna say delete this yeah. Alright I'm gonna put this back in here So pretend none of this is here none not this and not this. Just this. Just Minecraft underscore server. Alright. So basically, what you're going to want to do, and I'm going to make this video two parts. One for port forwarding, in case you already know how to do it. And then one for actually making this thing right here. This is just a basic server, not a bucket server. I do have a craft bucket server, though. But basically... What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to run this. It'll say, like, setting up stuff. It won't do it for me because I already have it, but pretty much what it'll say. It'll say, preparing to start region for level zero. And it'll do this, exactly this, except it'll go much, much more slowly. And it'll do the exact same for level one. It depends on how fast your computer is. Mine actually loaded up pretty fast because I have a good internet source. Oh, and before you finish watching this, before you get over all the way to the port forward and stuff, I should probably mention that you're going to need a router. So if you don't have a router, you're fucked. That's a good way of putting it. You're fucked. Um, so anyway, after you're done running this, you can just... Here's an easier way to do it because this shuts it down without harming anything. Usually this is what I do. Just type stop. Enter. Saving chunks, stopping server, and it should stop. And when it's done, you should have all of this. All this world, band IPs, band players, ops, server, ser server. I'm not sure if you have Notepad already, but if you don't, you're going to want to right click it, hit open with, and then click Notepad. And then whitelist, I don't really use that, but that's like if you only want certain people to be, be able to join your server. And this is just um, like a diary or a journal of what it is. Alright, sorry for that, I got interrupted. But anyway, you're going to have all this, all this right here. So basically, what you're going to want to do first, you want to open this. If it doesn't have a notepad symbol right there already, you're going to want to put, um, you're going to want to go right click it, open with, and then click notepad. If you have Mac, I'm not quite sure because I've never really used the Mac all that much. But after this is all loaded, you can set your settings on this before you 
do that if you already know your IP. That's great. And people say they need to download Hamachi, but you don't really need to download Hamachi. It's okay if you don't. Put a level seed if you need to. I'm pretty sure if it's two words, you put a... I'm not sure what that is. I think it's a hyphen. I don't know. But anyway, don't change any of this. Allow f flight. I put true because sometimes my friend flies, but it doesn't really matter because he can just change his game mode. You can put false if you want. PvP true. Um, online mode. That should be on true. I don't know why that's on false, but set that to true if you want people that only have a premium member account. And then false if you want people that just downloaded it. I put max players. It pretty sure it starts off 20. I put 5 because it makes the server like non laggy. And online mode, true, yeah. Difficulty, I'm not quite sure what that does, but game mode. This will set everyone's game game mode default. Default game mode. Zero is survival mode, which is like you have to build everything. Now if I put one, that would change everyone's game mode to um I'm not quite sure what it's called. I think it's called creative mode. And if it trade it, change it to creative mode, they can just spawn whatever they want anytime they want. Um, spawn monsters, true. Allow another true level name. Keep it on world. If you're gonna, if you change the name right here, I'm just gonna keep it world. I just keep it world. But if you change the name right here, you have to change the name right here, or else you'll get a um malfunction when you try to run your server. But anyway, on to how you get this little thing: IP address. Main thing you need to set up any kind of server. First, I'm just gonna exit. Oh. Alright. First, I'm just gonna exit out of all this. You can exit out of the Minecraft download thing now. I think it's CMD. Yeah, Command Prompt. This is called Command Prompt. Now, don't type anything you're not supposed to. Um. Just type it, do it, type as I say, and you won't mess anything up on your computer. Put IP, the letters I, the letters P, config. So C O N F I G. IP config. Then you're going to want to hit enter. And all this shit is going to load up on the screen. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to scroll all the way to the top. You want to get this IPv4 address or address. 192.168.1.100 Now, what you're going to do with this is you're going to go back into your Minecraft folder, back in the server, and you're going to put it right there. And you can change your IP for free, but I'm not quite sure how. I forget, but mine just randomly changed on its own. It was 102 and F100. Um, but, yeah. That's about it. And then, after you're done with that, if you have a router, and you, which you obviously have, because I already told you at the beginning of this video, you're fucked if you don't have one. And, well, that's about it. And come for the, um, next, watch the next video to learn how to port forward so other people can join your server and not just you. Alright.